If we take the lines away, the most interesting star I think, the star that could be shocking in our sky, is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. It's not as simple as it seems in the universe. These huge events, like the most feared enormous starburst, could shake everything we see and don't see to its core. But Betelgeuse has found a sign, a red supergiant star that is 764 times bigger than our sun. Brian Cox and other astronomers think it could go supernova at any time. People are mostly afraid of what will happen because the James Webb Space Telescope is taking shocking pictures of the star. When exactly will Betelgeuse become a star, and how big of an effect will it have on Earth? Let us find out. A star in the constellation Orion shines so brightly that even people from long ago have seen it. The well-known star Betelgeuse is located on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is the second largest star in the constellation Orion. Its name comes from this feature, the giant's shoulder. It is one of the brightest stars in the sky at night. On top of being very bright, the star is also a strange shade of red, which, as we will see, is a sign of trouble. We've known about Betelgeuse for a long time. A Greek scientist named Timmy also studied it. At that time, the only thing people knew about stars was their color. Timmy said that Betelgeuse was an orange color. Scientists have been studying this star even more closely lately and now have a good idea of what makes it so strangely bright. One of these traits is that the star changes brightness a lot. With an apparent magnitude of 0.6, Betelgeuse is a variable star, which means that its motion changes over time. Recently, experts have learned something new about the star. In 2019, scientists first noticed that Betelgeuse was acting oddly. Even though Betelgeuse didn't fully stop glowing, it wasn't the same because it had become much less bright, shining at a magnitude of about 1.6. Scientists quickly began to look into why they were seeing the tenth brightest star in the sky in this strange way. Scientists have had to make a scary statement based on their research, which culminated in the strange signs the star has recently shown. Scientists say that Betelgeuse could go supernova at any time. Brian Cox is a well-known scientist who made this very dangerous statement. As a well-known professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy, you shouldn't take his attitude for a joke. He also hosts a science show, writes many well-known science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement in Science. Brian Cox says Betelgeuse is like a ticking time bomb because it could go off at any moment. To make matters worse, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown a huge amount of evidence to back up this statement. But what strange signs has Betelgeuse given that have caused so much trouble in space science? Based on new information about Betelgeuse, the star has been labeled as a supernova, but scientists are still not sure when it will explode. The fact that Betelgeuse is about 15 times the mass of the Sun is one reason for this classification. A star only needs to be about eight times the mass of the sun to be called a supernova. Things get more interesting, though. For this reason, scientists have used many tools to look into Betelgeuse, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to watch what's happening in space around Betelgeuse. What they found is still interesting. The sun was born on August 31st, six billion years ago. At that time, the star Betelgeuse was seen to be showing strange signs that made its future unclear. What did they find, though? They could pick up strange light waves coming from the star Orion in the direction of Betelgeuse. That is very strange, but it wasn't the only thing experts saw from the star. This one brings us back to the idea that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes. Sometimes it was said that Betelgeuse dimmed down every 430 days and had dark spots just like our sun. Today, though, things are different. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another strange sign that Betelgeuse is back. 
scientists found that the star's dimming cycle had hit a V-band brightness of plus 1.614 in February 2021. This was very soon after the huge dimming event. Remember how the star seemed to dim in a strange way in 2019? That's what we're talking about because that's what it's mostly known as, the Great Dimming. We could see that the Great Dimming was the start of Betelgeuse's strange behavior and made a lot of people worry that Betelgeuse was going to explode. The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the lowest level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, experts were sure that Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years because of the Great Dimming. There is a lot going on in the universe, so this is pretty scary. Scientists quickly changed their minds, though, when they saw what happened next. Betelgeuse got brighter again after the Great Dimming and turned into something even more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% brighter than normal. This makes it the seventh brightest star in the sky right now. Scientists were scared when they saw a red glow in the sky's southern hemisphere. Today, still, it gets more interesting because this has led to a lot of different ideas about what caused the Great Dimming. We're going to explain. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse is a sign of a red supergiant star, which is the last stage of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is surprisingly caused by a surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the surface of the Sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Because Betelgeuse is cooler than our Sun, it gives off less energy per unit of surface area, even though it is bigger and about to blow up. The Great Dimming was like Brian Cox says. Does it mean that Betelgeuse is about to go supernova? Actually, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant already proves that it is almost done with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also usually dim over time, which is something that scientists agree on. Even so, Betelgeuse's recent strange behavior made scientists even more worried, and many telescopes are now studying the star. As you can see from these many studies, some experts don't think Betelgeuse is about to go supernova because of the great dimming. One of the tools used to look at Betelgeuse and try to figure out what caused the huge dimming event was the Hubble Space Telescope. The studies done with this camera were sure to amaze everyone because they showed a different reason for the dimming besides the star possibly being about to go supernova. Scientists learned from the Hubble Space Telescope that the great dimming was caused by a large amount of hot matter being thrown off the surface of Betelgeuse. Because this release was so big, it made a cloud of dust that blocked the star's light and made it look like it was fading. A different reason for the great dimming came from what the very large telescope, VLT, in Chile saw. In this case, the telescope concluded that the star's surface temperature had dropped by 170 Kelvin during the great dimming. However, it turned out that the dust cloud seen by the Hubble Space Telescope had nothing to do with the temperature change. Instead, they thought that dark spots were to blame for the great dimming in Betelgeuse. The cool dark spot was said to be very big and had formed for a short time on the star's surface, which caused the great dimming. A huge camera in Chile was also used to try to figure out what happened during the great dimming. In the end, it turned out that both of the past answers were correct. Based on this third interpretation, the theory says that the giant dark spot and cloud dust had big parts in the great dimming. In this case, it was because a dark spot had formed on the star's surface in the southern hemisphere, which caused the temperature around it to drop. To make matters worse, the star spat out a bubble of hot gas. The great dimming event happened because of a huge cloud of dust that formed over the star's surface. In light of these scientific ideas, it is clear that scientists think Betelgeuse is about to go supernova, but there are other explanations for its strange behavior, such as the great dimming. Still, things get more interesting because experts still don't know everything about Betelgeuse. Scientists are now using the most cutting-edge tools to keep an eye on the interesting things going on around Betelgeuse. 
The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tools scientists have used so far to study Betelgeuse's supernova events. As of right now, the James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful space telescope in the world. This method still looks very promising for giving science more information about how Betelgeuse behaves. As scientists use this camera to study the star, they hope to learn more about the red supergiant, which may be on the verge of exploding. Scientists will learn more about stellar life cycles and how they affect the universe in general by looking at this star more closely with the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is a big deal because it can study the universe's infrared bands better than any other telescope. This would help us figure out why Betelgeuse's brightness changes with the seasons. Scientists would be able to get better pictures and spectral studies of the star. The clear pictures of Betelgeuse are very valuable because they show important details about the planet's surface and the unique shapes of its dust and gas clouds. Scientists can be sure that their future models and predictions of the star will be more accurate because of this. Talking about detailed pictures, ALMA, a very well-equipped telescope in Chile, is also a great place to get them. Its high-resolution pictures of Betelgeuse's structure and behavior amazed scientists. This telescope also caught a rare view of a big cloud of gas rising from the star's surface. It is thought to be caused by the pulsing of Betelgeuse, which is caused by convection, the flow of hot air upward. Cooler gases, on the other hand, have a lower concentration. The star is also expanding because of these movements, which create waves that stay in the star's atmosphere. Betelgeuse also has a lot of dark spots, especially where the magnetic field is higher, as seen in more detailed pictures. It holds gases in a loop because it has a strong magnetic field. This makes areas with lots of magnetic features, which are what cause the dark spots. These areas are cooler than the gas around them, which flows with hot gas from the star's core to the surface. The dark spots on Betelgeuse cover about 20% of the star's surface, making them much bigger than Earth. The star gets less bright as there are more of these dark spots. Scientists can't deny that Betelgeuse is about to explode, which would be a scary supernova no matter what the cause of the great dimming is. But what would it look like if Betelgeuse went supernova? It took 2000 years for Betelgeuse to change from a yellowish-orange color to red, which shows how slowly it has changed over time. But Betelgeuse is getting old and will eventually die. Since it is such a big star, its death will likely cause a big bang that would shake the universe. At this point, there are many reasons to be afraid of a supernova. Still, it's more interesting to think about the explosion that might happen from the huge Betelgeuse. High-energy radiation from supernovae is dangerous, so they are not safe to be near. The energy from Betelgeuse, on the other hand, is thousands of times stronger than that from the sun, which is scary. Things don't end here, though. Supernovae are very dangerous. One problem they cause is that they send out X-rays and blast waves with fast particles that can destroy a world like Earth and leave it without life. At the moment, there are two types of supernovae, and both are very powerful. The first kind of supernova is caused by very large stars that blow up after a short time. White dwarf stars in paired systems that explode are a different type of supernova. When both types of supernova happen, they send out blast waves and energy rays that can go a very long way into space. It might destroy all the worlds that are in its way. There could be no more life on Earth after a supernova about 25 light years away. Scientists have not yet found a close possibility that is a threat, which is good news. Scientists think that Betelgeuse is safe from Earth because it is 640 light years away, which is too far for it to hurt us. At this point, we would have to be about 160 light years away from Betelgeuse in order to feel its supernova. In addition to the risks that supernovae pose to planets and other stellar things nearby, scientists have found a new threat that can arise from supernovae that might not be stopped by distance. This danger comes from stars that have rings around them that are nearing the end of their lives. When these stars finally blow up, the shock waves they send out will probably hit these nearby disks and make them very hot. 
After this, the discs would give off a lot of X-ray energy, which can cut the ozone layer in half within 150 light years for months or years after they are at their best. You will feel the effects still, but it will cost any world that falls victim a lot in the long run. Astronomers and experts are doing everything they can to keep an eye on Earth's surroundings in space to make sure it is safe. They have also set up a supernova warning system called SNOOS. The next SNOOS regulator will be the SNOOS supernova, which will use present supernova neutrino detectors that will be useful in the future. It's important to know that experts are excited about what's going on in Betelgeuse. Now that the safety problem has been fixed, scientists can learn a lot about the last stages of a supergiant red star from the Betelgeuse supernova, which is the closest one they can get. This is a first for scientists because they have never had this chance before. An astronomer at Australia's Swinburne University of Technology, Dr. Sarah Webb, says, we've never been able to study in this depth before. So far, keeping an eye on what's happening in Betelgeuse has given scientists more useful information about how red supergiants behave before they explode. Scientists agree that the event will definitely leave its mark on Earth through different signs that may last for a week or more. It is not comforting to say that Earth will be mostly safe even if Betelgeuse explodes. Here it is shown that Betelgeuse will get so bright that it can be seen during the day. At night, it will make shadows like the moon. According to new research, this kind of event may happen more often on Earth now than it did in the past. According to Egyptian history, there was a time when there was a second sun in the sky, which is how we know this is true. Scientists have talked about other signs of the blast on Earth besides the bright lights that appeared in the sky. The burst of neutrinos on Earth would be one of them. People won't be hurt by these particles, but close telescopes will be able to find them. People say that Betelgeuse's life was short and that it will end short as well since it only took 14 million years to get to its current size. Earth, on the other hand, is much smaller but has been around for 4.54 billion years. Scientists are sure that Betelgeuse is in grave danger because of how quickly it is growing and how old it is. Some people think these aren't enough to predict a supernova, but Salvatore Vitali, a physics professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, agrees that they are. He says that the light waves picked up from Betelgeuse might not actually be from Betelgeuse. Another thing he said was that neutrinos had to be released and seen on Earth for Betelgeuse to go supernova. However, this has not yet happened. In the end, no one knows what will happen when Betelgeuse goes supernova. Still, thank goodness we have hard-working researchers and scientists who are always keeping an eye on things to see what's going on. Guys, that's all for today. Thanks for seeing it through to the end. What do you think about the possible explosion of Betelgeuse? Share your ideas with us in the area below.